Day Four, Mary, Woman in Love. Mary is entirely a woman in love with pure love, with passion and joy. She knew how to dedicate her entire life to the love that fully deserves the name, dancing to the tune of life. By looking at her, we can distinguish love from its counterfeits, and have a clear idea of an important area of our lives from hers. I love you. Je t'aime. Et je t'aime vous. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. En somme. Je ne sais pas. I don't know if during the time of Mary they used the same tender messages of love as prompt and quick as expressed in the graffiti that today's girls openly engrave on the walls or on the colorful backpacks of their schoolmates. Mary, too, experienced that splendid season of existence filled with surprises and tears, strong emotions and doubts, of tenderness and trepidation. She, too, tasted that joy of encounters, the waiting for feasts, the expressions of friendship, the intoxication of dancing, the happiness of a new dress. It grew like a vase under the potter's hands. And everyone wondered at the mystery of that perfect transparency and shadowless freshness. One evening, a boy named Joseph took courage and finally declares to her, Mary, I love you. She answers him, as quick as a shiver, me too. And in her eyes were reflected all the stars of the firmament. For us, the human love we experience is like the water in a cistern. Very clear, yes, but with a lot of debris at the bottom. All it takes is a trifle for the murky bottom to stir up and the waters become murky. Instead, for you, no. We can never understand that Mary's love had no dark residue because hers was a bottomless well limpid to the essence of her soul. Nancy was born with a serious illness. By the age of nine, she had already undergone numerous operations that had forced her into a wheelchair. Each operation costed Nancy acute suffering, but the smile always returned to her lips. Her house was always full of little friends. She liked ice cream, Coca-Cola, records and songs that she accompanied with her thin little voice laughing and clapping. But what she enjoyed most was the joy of others. She gave everything she had to see the people around her happy. She gave her dog, her guitar, her favorite books, her porcelain statues. She gifted them with a lively, spontaneous, joyful gesture. One day, Nancy begged her mother to bring her beloved canary to a woman who was very sad about the death of one of her birds. Returning, the mother found the baby crying by the empty cage. But why did you want to give him away if you loved him so much? Oh, Mom, just because I loved him so much, so I gave all my love to that old lady. Long live Jesus, I am Louisa, and I learnt this greeting by always being with my Silesian sisters of Don Bosco and Mary Help of Christians. Since I was a child, having a religious family, I have always attended oratory, and with oratory, everything you learn in growing up with moral and important values for life that always help you to behave well towards yourself and your neighbour. My nuns were so many of them, almost all very spiritual for me. 
because with them I found confidence. I found the right word and moral support in times of need. That's how it is. I have always grown up living in a society where there are difficulties and good things. And with these difficulties, my mum, being an alumna, I like her, became part of the alumni. And as an alumni, also being a social helper in my small community. In my mother's time, a former student founded the Centre for Life because all times presented difficulties for the values of life and to help mothers in difficulty not to abandon their children or comfort them in need. This centre helps precisely these mothers who still come from all over and we help them by following them. From the time they come in, everything is like a rebirth and all that is needed is outfits, moral help, giving support, helping them with their families. And together with me, there are other co-workers because our foundation of former pupils works in many small areas. This behavior, at least on my part, is precisely due to the fact that I receive teachings from my sisters because they help you to see in your neighbor a brother of yours, a person in need. And when they ask you to be present, I always try to be present in my own small way, even a small thought, an accompaniment, something that can be supportive. And after all, this is done with joy, with love, because our religious preparation has no purpose. It is just done with a sincere spirit, without any preparation. When one asks you for something, it is done spontaneously because it is from the heart. Prayer To love, the voice of the verb to die means to decentralize, to come out of oneself, give without asking, being discreet to the point of silence, to suffer, to drop the scales of selfishness, getting out of the way when the peace of the house is at risk, desire the happiness of others, respecting his or her destiny, and disappear when you realize you're disturbing its mission. Holy Mary, woman in love, teach us to love.